Well, tonight, customers are able to enjoy outdoor dining once again in Los Angeles County. If they are brave enough to endure the colder weather, diners are now facing some new restrictions as the COVID-19 crisis continues. Kick it on Chef Nguyen has more details this Friday night. Tonight, Keith Adams and his staff at Mardi Gras Tuesday had their game face on to welcome back customers for outdoor dining. I'm super excited, super anxious. But he has to do so with some new modifications. More employees must wear a face covering and a face shield. There's a limit of six to a party, which has to be from the same household. Tables must now be spaced eight feet apart and no TVs. I think it's a little over. Kill. I do think it's overkill and I think that if there was again if there was a game on television you maybe you would think to take takeout as opposed to coming in and sitting down which then hurts the servers who aren't getting tips on the tables. But LA County public health leaders are still worried about COVID transmissions during America's upcoming unofficial holiday the Super Bowl. It'll be tragic if this year's Super Bowl becomes a super spreader event. I feel good just to be able to be out in public and eating again. Uh, I think that um um, I think sports comes comes second to that right now because we've just been in hibernation for so long. Customers say TV or not, dining in person is about supporting small businesses that have been struggling. Oh, I love the TV. Yeah. This Cajun restaurant opened up last April in the midst of the pandemic, so its dining room has never hosted hungry customers. Keith Adams says his TV monitors during the NBA playoffs ended up being an entree. It allowed us to get a lot of new customers. It allowed us to get customers that bled over from other restaurants. So it was kind of like a real nice upswing for us, you know what I'm saying, to be able to have those TVs. Despite the easing of business restrictions, the LA County Department of Public Health says the daily death toll from COVID has remained high, while the new case counts have declined from record levels. In Sherman Oaks, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.